This is different than a lot of other Sacred Choral works in that it is in English and it sets the exact text of the Bible and in sequence. So the musical goals of this work were to create a very direct setting of the text that literally can be read along with the music. So the orchestration for this is for chamber orchestra consisting of uh, chamber strings and then there are two French horn parts and there are two oboists as well, uh, one playing oboe, oboe de more, and the other playing English horn and bass oboe. So one of the challenges in writing this piece has to do with the structure and the architecture of it, because it is so long, it's 16 chapters of text, 7 hours of music. My starting point was really going through the text, and I literally took different colored highlighters and highlighted themes that come back in that text. And then once I had that done, I had sort of a visual aid to the structure of the piece, and I could start then writing the themes to go with those. The most enjoyable part, I think, about writing any new music is when you actually get to realize it and hear it live for the first time, and I had a tremendous group of collaborators on this project. I do really see this piece as a seven hour long prayer, and I really hope that it allows the audience to appreciate the text in a very clear manner, and gives that text and that narrative some life to it that it wouldn't have without the music. This oratorio really takes the listener on a journey. It takes the listener on a journey through the tremendous sacrifice Jesus made for us. It takes the listener on a journey through this dramatic narrative and really gives you something to think about at the end and take with you.